I'm going to a baby shower, but this time I'm not the decorator. I'm a guest. Stick around and I'll show you what kind of gift I brought for the parents-to-be. To form the basic structure of the stroller, I'm using some everyday items from the Dollar Tree. I have some clear plastic plates and a punch bowl from the party section, a dish pan, and a very unusual item from the houseware section. Toilet brushes. Yeah, I know it's weird, but I got them because I could envision using the handle, not the brush part. Whenever I'm working on a project, I shop for items by their shape, and I try to see the potential of what it can be, not what it really is. Now that I have all the brushes taken apart, I'm removing the pricing stickers from everything. Even though most of it will be covered with diapers, I don't want the stickers to show through. This is my first time making a diaper stroller. I've made diaper cakes in the past, but never a stroller. So I'm going to let you see the process of trial and error along the way. Everything doesn't always turn out well the first time, but I keep working on it until I figure out a way to make it work. As you're watching, you might think of ways to do it differently, and that's great. Share it with us in the comments. I'm just showing you how I did it to hopefully get your creative juices flowing. At first, I thought these cups from the toilet brushes would make good wheels for the stroller. I used some E6000 glue for a more permanent hold, and I used some hot glue for an instant adhesive. The Gorilla Tape was placed to help hold in place while it dried. Now the touch points on the handles of the, sh the stroller were very thin, so I used a little bit of Gorilla Tape uh, to create a surface to hold the glue. I wanted the legs of the stroller to form this crisscross shape so you can see the tape is on there and then also I apply the E6000 glue first then I go back and add some hot glue to it. We'll see how this holds. Both sets of legs are now glued and dried, but then I felt like it still might not be strong enough to hold the weight of the diapers once everything was assembled. So to reinforce it even more, I wrapped this picture hanging wire at the cross point. Uh, in hindsight, I think clear fishing wire would have worked just as well and maybe even look better too.
Here I have attached the stroller legs and wheels to the underside of the dish pan. Again, I used E6000 first, then hot glue, and now you see me placing Gorilla Tape to hold it in place while it sets up. Try to get your legs positioned evenly on both sides so that the stroller won't sit lopsided. And to keep the legs from spreading apart when you stand it up, you may want to use another piece of wire between the two sets of legs. Doing this along with using the Gorilla Tape really helped to make the whole structure a lot more stable. This is how it's looking so far. It's starting to shape up just the way I envision. Let me bring you in a little closer so you can see how the wire is wrapped around the legs. It would have looked so much better if the wire was clear, but this is what I had on hand. Most importantly though, it is standing up and it is sturdy. I'm ready to add the punch bowl or the sunshade of the stroller. I'm doing a dry fit first to see where the touch points are. This will show me where I need to apply the glue. At every stage of this process, I'm testing to see whether the stroller will keep standing or fall over. So far, so good. For the stroller handle, I'm using this Hot Wheels track, also from Dollar Tree. It came two in a pack, but I just need one. I needed something flexible that I could paint and glue in place. Here's how it looks dry fit. Moving on to the wheels. I'm covering these popsicle sticks with gold metallic washi tape. You could also brush these on with some gold crafting paint or take them outside and spray paint them. I personally like the reflective shine that you get from the washi tape. The popsicle sticks are meant to look like spokes on the wheels. So I used a small dot of hot glue in the center of the clear plate. Then I layer on the sticks, metallic side down, creating a star. You don't really have to do this step if you don't want to, but I'm someone who really enjoys crafting. I find it very relaxing. And I like the added detail it gives to the piece. I think it makes it look more decorative and pretty with more opportunities to bring in that gold color. Now you can make this any color that you want. I think silver and bronze would look nice too. What are your thoughts? What would you do? Leave me a comment below.
For even more bling, I'm hot gluing these gemstones into the center of the wheel. I had a ton of these left over in my stash from another project and I thought this was a great way to use some of them up. You'll see later that I've decided to add in some of these gems all the way around at the end points of each of the spokes. While the wheels are drying, I'll start rolling up some diapers. All you need is a pack of rubber bands from the Dollar Tree. Neatly roll all the diapers in the same direction. Is it just me or does anyone else like the smell of diapers? The Pampers brand especially smells like baby powder. This is going to take a while. We've got a lot of diapers to roll. 96 diapers to be exact. Whenever I make diaper cakes or any kind of diaper gift, I always use the size 1 diaper instead of the newborn. To cover all the rubber bands, I'm using gold ribbon from Hobby Lobby. This is a tedious, time-consuming step, but a necessary one because I will put the glue on the ribbon to attach it to the stroller. I don't want any of the glue to touch the diapers. To make it go a little bit faster, I measure out one piece of ribbon around one diaper. Then I use that piece of ribbon as a guide to cut out all the rest of the pieces. To cover all the diapers, it takes about four spools of ribbon. I should have done this first before gluing it all together, but I painted the legs and the handle gold. Now I'm ready to start attaching the diapers to the carriage. Surprisingly, the hot glue by itself holds really well. I wanted the parents to be able to easily remove the diapers and use them. So when applying them, try to line up the gold ribbons and stick the diapers close together to make it look nice and neat. Once all of the diapers are applied all the way around the carriage, then I decided to put on this really pretty white lace ribbon or ruffle that I found from Hobby Lobby.
The ruffle also held very well with just hot glue. I used the lip of the dishpan as the perfect place to apply it. On this part, when using the hot glue, I found it better to apply the glue directly to the ribbon instead of to the dish pan, and I also found it better to do it in small amounts at a time and just work your way around. That way the glue won't dry up too fast on you. I had just enough of this ruffle left over to put some around the outer edge of the sunshade. This really made the carriage look fancy. In total, I only needed one yard of this ruffle from Hobby Lobby. Not bad, it went a long way. Next, I'm adding more of the diapers around the sunshade to fill it in. Now, you could cover the sunshade completely with diapers if you wanted to. That would give a nice look. But I really like the way that the, the sunshade or the punch bowl had this crystal design kind of cut out. And it was clear and it was pretty and it let some light shine through. So I left the inner part of the sunshade open. I didn't fill it completely with diapers. The cups from the toilet brushes that I was originally trying to use as wheels did not work very well because they weren't flush with the table. So I took those off and decided to make wheels out of diapers. This just made more sense to use more diapers. You see what I mean here about the little cups? Man, this would have really worked out well if it didn't have this outer rim on there that's making it uneven with the table surface. Oh well, it's okay. We'll just push that off to the side and let me show you how the diaper wheels worked out even better. Um, I just used some rubber bands to attach the clear plates to the outer parts of the wheel makes it more decorative too. Even though the diapers are the main gift, here are some ideas to fill the stroller with even more baby essentials. You can use receiving blankets, burp cloths, or a handmade crocheted blanket would be really sweet. Maybe even order a personalized blanket with the baby's name on it. A plush toy, or a baby doll, a pacifier, some corner furniture protectors, little spoons, a thermometer, socks, and hand mitts. Really, you could fill it with whatever you want. You could fill it with all baby clothes if you choose to. Another option is to wrap the entire stroller in some of that cellophane, that clear cellophane gift wrap, and put a bow around it like you would on a gift basket. 
but I decided to leave the whole thing open because I wanted the parents to be able to um, look around and see all of the things that were inside of the gift without unwrapping it. Now I used some of this curly ribbon that I found at the Dollar Tree. It's in the gift wrapping section. I didn't get the paper kind, I got the fabric kind because I thought it looked so much fancier. Just glue it on. I still had a lot of diapers left over, so let me show you some ideas to do with those. You could simply roll up the extra diapers and place them on the inside of the stroller, sort of like a cushion or a mattress. Put the plush toy on top, open up one of the baby blankets, and cover him up. Now let me give you a look at the completed baby stroller or carriage all the way around. Not only would this make a great gift, but it would also make a beautiful centerpiece on the gift table at the baby shower. I love to make personalized gifts like this when I'm given enough notice in advance. Little things like this make the baby shower even more memorable for the parents, especially when it's their first baby. If you decide to use it as a centerpiece and you have extra diapers left over, you can just wrap some ribbon around them and add some artificial flowers like this. If you enjoyed this creative gift idea, please press the thumbs up button so this video can get out and reach more people. This video will be the first of many in a new playlist that I'm making called Creative Gift Ideas for All Occasions. So be sure to visit often for more gifting inspiration. Don't forget to press the thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave comments below. Consider watching these videos next. These are live links here on the sides that you can click on. I'm Steph Storm and you'll see me next time.